Hey everyone, Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to take a moment today to walk you through what I think is a really cool framing technique being used on this house. It's called staggered stud framing. All of the exterior walls in this house are framed with what is known as staggered stud framing. And looking at that wall there in front of me, you can tell how busy it is. But before we get to that wall, let's talk about normal framing techniques. Let's use this interior wall as an example. So let's assume this is an exterior wall and that this is a 2x6 wall and not a 2x4 wall. In most framing throughout the country, you'll see a bottom plate with a 2x6 and then you will have studs as, they're, as they are here, 16 or 24 inches on center depending upon code in that area of the country. It works fine and well, but as you can see, electrical still has to be drilled through each one of the studs. And when it comes to insulating, whether you're using bats or spray foam, you will have a stud, a section of insulation, another stud gap, insulation, stud gap, and so on. Now let's take a look at the staggered stud construction. So in this case, you have a two by six bottom plate. And on the side nearest to me of the plate, you have a two by fours that are 16 inches on center. So if you kind of spin this way, you can see that each one of these studs are offset. You got one to the back, one to the front, to the back, to the front. And as you go through here, you can see that this electrical wire does not be drilled. It can just simply be snaked between each one of the studs. And when it comes to insulation, especially spray foam insulation, you can have one seamless run of insulation throughout this entire wall with no breaks in the envelope because you can spray over top of this stud since it is not the stud that's going to be accepting drywall behind this stud, on top of this stud, and so on. So you will end up with a much, much better insulated wall, a wall that is easier to run electrical through, and a stronger wall because you effectively end up with studs eight inches on center. The studs on this side of the plate are 16 on center, as are the studs on the opposite side of the plate. It also makes for a very soundproof wall. It takes advantage of what is known as decoupling. By having an air gap between the stud on the inside and the sheeting on the outside, you create a dead space that doesn't allow the sound to pass through as easily. So obviously it's going to be a little bit more expensive since you are essentially doubling the number of two by fours in a given wall. However, keep in mind, these are just your exterior walls. This isn't what you do on your interior walls. Those are traditional framings. So if you're getting ready to build a new home and you want to increase the efficiency of that home, look into staggered stud framing. I really didn't know this existed until we started building this home and it's a really cool technique. It makes for a stronger, more soundproof, and more efficient wall when it comes to energy and your electrician's going to love the fact that he didn't have to drill a whole lot of holes for wires and exterior walls. But hit that subscribe button and come back and see us guys. Many new videos on the way. Take care.